Hey guys, John V here from Bone Arena I'm at CES 2014 Las Vegas. I'm at ZTE's booth doing a quick hands on look at their newest flagship device. They just announced it yesterday the ZTE Nubia 5S, and it is a specs beast of it in itself. So, some of the quick specs include a 5 inch full HD display, 1920 by 1080 resolution, sharp, vivid, great view angles. Um, you have a pretty beefy camera in the rear. It's actually a 13 megapixel autofocus camera in the rear. A little bit of a hump there. Um, it features a sapphire lens. Um, it uses, a, uh, it's a five, five lenses in there. You have blue glass composite IR filter. It utilizes the Exmor RS sensor that we find on some of the other Sony devices out there. And it has an f2.0 aperture lens. So when it comes to low lighting performance, I checked it out and uh, I gotta say, even in, in almost the darkest environments, it's able to brighten up shots so you can see some fine details. So let me talk about the, the uh, specs, the, uh, the rest of the specs. Powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor and it's running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with CTE's customized interface. So real quick, talk about the design and uh, I gotta say, it's a very clean looking handset. Some people say it looks like an iPhone, but it has some different differences to it. First of all, it's constructed out of plastic all around, and the plastic itself is the glossy variety. So it tends to show a little bit of more smudges and fingerprints, but seeing that it's a white finish, um, it does a good job masking it. You have this silver trim around the sides, some chrome accents for the buttons themselves. Bottom control on the right hand side, pretty raised and tactile. On the right you have the uh, power button, you have the shutter key here. Micro USB port for charging data connectivity on the bottom, microphone. Up top, 3.5mm headset jack, and I believe that's an IR blaster right there. And you have the SIM slot. In the rear, that 13 megapixel autofocus camera with the LED flash. It has the ability to shoot 4K video, interestingly enough, and shoots also at a really high 120 frames per second speed. So it has a lot of stuff going for it. So design very pleasant. I like the clean finish to it. You can see how flat it is on the front. There's the passive home button here. It has a nice red glow to it. I believe they use it for notification system as well and surrounded by the menu and back keys. It's very hard to see but there's a subtle red glow when you press both those buttons. Up top here you have the earpiece. It looks like it has a nice accent to it, a chrome-like accent, light proximity sensors and you have that front-facing camera there. So some of the key features here I'm going to talk about is just the software experience. It has a very translucent look. You can see it here. They kind of ditched the apps panel and they put everything on the home screen. Still the same personalization you get on any Android smartphone. Notifications panel right there. Now they have this thing where depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, just because this, the screen is so large, five inches, your hand, your finger is unable to actually compass the entire layout. But they have this mode. So for example, if you're, if you're left-handed, you can put to this left-handed mode, you got tilted. And now you have like a small mini preview here of the desktop of the home screen and you can still interact with it. So now your finger is able to actually um, go, you know, enhance, encompass the entire layout. And vice versa, if you're right-handed, you could put it to the right-handed operation like so. So pretty nice there. The other thing I want to talk about here is just the camera. Now to get out of that mode, you got to like kind of shake it. Now the camera is pretty interesting. They kind of take the approach with with uh, Nokia, where they offer a pretty in-depth experience. A lot of different shooting modes that are available to it. You have the fun mode where you can have all the different color effects that you want. You have an automatic mode right here, so quickly take photos. And with this here, you can also have the uh, pro mode. Now, pro mode is interesting just because you're able to adjust the focus and also the exposure or the white balance so you can actually move it around to different spots. Um, so you have a lot of flexibility and control with that. And uh, no word yet on pricing on this handset nor an availability availability date but it's a pretty pleasant handset, high end, spe high end spec. Hopefully it comes here to the US. If not, it's going to be available international abroad. So if you guys want to learn more about the ZTE Nubia 5S, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.